Hi y'all, today we are going to make some breakfast dishes. Um, we are gonna start with like a basic uh, breakfast casserole. I have several breakfast casserole recipes, but we're gonna start with this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut up six to eight red potatoes here. I think I'm using seven. You just wanna cut up enough to cover the bottom of your baking dish. Um, and you're just gonna dice them up into bite-sized pieces and then once you have those diced up, you're gonna dice up two tablespoons of butter, and then you're gonna add that to the pan with the potatoes, and then you're gonna sprinkle a half a teaspoon of salt and garlic pepper each on top of the potatoes. Mix that around really good and throw them in an oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes until they get soft. Now we're gonna cut up some vegetables. Here I'm using a frozen fajita bag that I had made that I just needed to use up. It's a half of an onion and one bell pepper. Um, and then I'm also going to cut up these mushrooms that my husband had thrown in the freezer too. Um, it'll just be, you know, like five mushrooms. And then I've got some pre-cooked bacon here that's been diced up. It is a whole one pound, so you're gonna put that all together. Um, you can either use like the pre-cooked bacon that you get at the store, just cook up a pound of bacon and dice it up. And then I'm gonna crack 12 eggs into a bowl and then m mix everything together. Then we're going to season that with about a teaspoon of salt and garlic powder each. Give it one good mix. Pull your potatoes out of the oven after they've gotten soft and dump this mixture over the top. Then you're gonna put one cup of shredded cheese on the top. I'd recommend something with yellow cheese in it like the taco mix or um, cheddar cheese. I wouldn't use mozzarella cheese. It just, it's not that it tastes bad, it just doesn't taste as good. So um, yeah, and then you'll just throw that in the oven and bake it at 350 degrees. It usually takes about an hour um, it could take more or less depending on your oven um, and, and it's just until it's cooked all the way through until it's not jiggly in the middle. <laughs> y'all we are gonna make some pancakes this is just my basic pancake recipe yes my bowl is starting out dirty my two-year-old wanted to help me make some pancakes so I figured I'd make pancakes with him it wasn't terrible but it wasn't awesome either um, so I made pancakes with him and then I recorded this video so um, to make these pancakes you're gonna start with two cups of flour a tablespoon of baking powder a tablespoon of sugar a teaspoon of vanilla, a couple shakes of salt, one egg, four tablespoons of softened butter. You want that to be nearly melted, but not quite melted. And then two cups of milk. You can substitute buttermilk for it. I have done that before. However, generally I just use plain whole milk um, and it turns out best that way. Then you're gonna mix that together until there are no more lumps. And then we're gonna make some pancakes. I generally like to use my griddle, one, because I can make more than one pancake at a time, 
And two, I just like the surface area that it gives me. Um, generally, I make my pancakes about three quarters of a cup of batter to one cup of batter. Um, if you do that, this recipe should make about six to eight pancakes. So you're going to put your pancake batter on a greased griddle or pan if that's how you want to make it. And then you're going to wait until the whole top is just covered in bubbles. And then you're going to flip it over and cook it on the other side. And you're going to cook it until that side looks the same as what is now the top side. And then you have a pancake. You're just going to keep doing this over and over again until your pancake batter is gone. That's how you make pancakes. going to make some baked banana oatmeal um this video i'm making a triple batch because i want to make a whole 9 by 13 baking dish of this but the recipe for a single batch will be listed down in the description also while i'm talking about the description might as well tell you um to like my video and if you haven't already hit subscribe it'll really help me out if you do um if you could leave me a comment, let me know if there's something you'd like to see, some recipe that you're curious about, some kind of whatever, anything, anything you'd like to see, leave me a comment down, down below. And I will, one, I'll respond to it, and two, I'll try to get to that thing. Okay, on to this baked banana oatmeal. Um, first, you're going to put in two bananas and um the best masher for bananas that i have found is not a fork it is my meat masher it works the best if you don't have one get one because they're great um so you're going to mash up all your bananas and once your bananas are are a reasonable consistency they don't have to be perfectly smooth or anything um you're going to add in the rest of your ingredients so that's two eggs one cup of milk one cup of oats two tablespoons of brown sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla and cinnamon. I frequently put pecans in this. However, I was out of pecans whenever I made this, so I didn't put any in. Obviously, if you don't like nuts, don't put nuts in it. Um, anyway, so once you get all the ingredients added in, you're gonna mix that all together, and then you're going to add it to a greased baking dish, and you're gonna throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. That's for the single batch. If you make a large batch, it's going to take at least an hour to bake. And you're just going to bake that until it's firm. And that's it. This is a super simple and delicious recipe. And I highly recommend it. My kids love it. It's delicious. All right, y'all. That is all I have for you today. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all. <music>